This video was a suggestion from Ralph inside of the Obsidian onboarding help request. I'll leave a link in the description below. And today we're going to go through this. And the question was about a homepage, specifically mentioning the homepage community plugin and how to find everything all in that one spot, that dashboard page. When looking for a dashboard with lots of information, this plugin doesn't give you all of that information, but it can help with that. So what it does, it gives you four options. I'm going to stick with the file at the moment and then home. You can then choose to open it on startup. So when you first open the vault, it will pick up and say, hey, this is your homepage. Open this first. You can also activate a ribbon icon so you can push the home button. You can see inside of the ribbon and it will take you to the homepage. Then you also get the option to separate the mobile homepage. So if the homepage for the mobile is different from the desktop, you can set something different. So before going through any of the other settings, if I push the home page button, it brings up a home file. It's created the home file in the vault and it's gone to the home page. If I click it again, it will then go to the same file. But if I close the file down, then click on the home, it's going to open up the same page because it's just the home file. If I rename the file to a home page, then click the button, it's going to create a new file called home because that's what the plugin is looking for, a file called home. If I then move the file into a folder and push on home, it's fine because it's looking for the file name. So it doesn't matter how many folders it's buried under. Then going down to these other settings, we've got the vault environment, the vault being all of these different files and folders and everything in Obsidian all together. And what it's doing is the opening method. So you can change whether it's going to replace all open notes. So when I push the home button, it replaces all of the open files and closes them down and just brings up the home note, replace the last note or keep open notes. And these three options are specific to the Vault Startup. So if you do start up with the Vault opening, so open on Startup, if this is toggled on as it is here, when it starts up, it will then either replace all the open notes, replace last note, or keep open there. So it's on the Startup, not when you click this button. If you keep clicking the button, it will just keep opening up the file. Then there is the option of the manual opening method. So you still got the same three things. So replace all open files. And then if I manually open up the home, you can see it's just changed the home page to the home page. You then get the option to auto create. So if the file that it's looking for isn't available. So at the moment, if the home file isn't available, it auto creates that file or it auto creates that file. If this is toggled on, if it's toggled off, it won't work. You can then pin the home page on opening. So if I turn this on and then push the ribbon button, it will then pin that home page. So if I was to open up another file, say there, it will then keep that one pinned and open the home page up or whatever file up in another tab. You can then customize the pane viewing option. So you have the default view, which you have already inside of your settings, inside the editor settings. You could make it show in reading view, editing view, which is the source, and then editing view for the live preview. If you go to the editor settings, you can see the default view for new tabs and default editing view. These are the default settings. So editing view or reading view and then live preview and source view. So this is the default settings that plugin is talking about. The reason the reading view may be more useful is if you're using a plugin, say data view or something else that requires things to render, i.e. CSS to render, buttons to render, or things like that, the live preview may work, but there may be something else inside of live preview that doesn't quite work. The thing that comes to mind for me is footnotes, because footnotes in live preview need to be edited so you can still see the footnotes in the page. But if you use footnotes in the reading view, it will automatically, the home page will automatically come up in reading view, so you can just view it straight away. Then leaving this toggled on will revert the view to the default and the default may be live preview. So it will go from reading view to live preview when you navigate away from this pane and then the auto scroll pushes you all the way down to the bottom of the file. And that could be used depending on the homepage you're using. So if it's a log, for example, you want to go all the way down to the bottom of the log and then you can add in whatever it is that you're adding. Where this plugin becomes useful, I think, is when you have the daily note. Then going to the core plugins, making sure the daily notes core plugin is turned on. It's a core plugin. Then going to the settings, making sure you have something all set up. So now all I have in this vault is a journal folder. I want all the new files to go to that journal folder. I don't have a template. I'm going to keep it with the default format. Open daily note on startup. I don't need to tick this on because the home page is already going to do that. Now when I click on the home page, it will create the daily note. But because there's no file path in the creation, it's created it outside of the folder. So you can see if I click on the folder, it's not actually inside of it. So I need to drag it up and put it in. But now it's in the folder. When I click, it takes me directly to that daily note. 
So what I would suggest if you're using the daily notes is to not use the auto create button or don't use the ribbon to create the daily note. Have the daily note already created either through the daily notes plugin. So activate that startup or use another plugin like calendar or a link or any other way to create the daily note. The date dependent file option is basically the same as the daily notes, but is a little bit more complicated. It uses something called moment date formatting, which can be useful for those that use plugins like Templator, a community plugin, or anything else that uses that sort of date formatting. You could also use a random file. So it's just going to pick any random file from your vault and that will be the homepage. So it could be like a random note generator, very similar to the core plugin. So I don't see much of a use in this for me personally. But when looking at the original question, they're looking for functionality such as adding a task section overview, progress on OKRs, links to favorite pages, that sort of stuff inside of the homepage. And that's where for me, I would use the file homepage and then create a canvas because that's my preference. And then inside of the home canvas, I would then have all of that information. So you can see in here, if I double click and by just creating a few cards, you can then have all of your tasks in there. That could be done with the task plugin with various queries. It could be done with the data view plugin with various queries. It could even be the default search inside of a code block. There's various options, the same with the overview and with links, you could just add in the, the markdown links inside of there. So adding in the journal links that way or anything that you want, because these are just cards inside of the canvas. Then when you push the home, it brings you back to this dashboard esque view. However, because the home page button only brings up a page, it doesn't change any of the workspace. So any of these other things that's going on, so the different plugins, the configuration of where panes are. So if I move this down to there, for example, none of this is going to be saved or brought back when you push the home page button. So it's only a page, not a workspace. And that's where my personal preference actually leans away from this plugin and uses a combination of two different plugins. One of them, I need the core plugin workspace. So if I go to the core plugins, type workspace, workspace is for whatever reason is default off. So I'm going to turn it on and then going to install the workspaces plus community plugin and the commander community plugin. Then inside of the left ribbon, I'm going to go to manage workspace layouts, type home. So it's going to save the entire workspace rather than the file, push save. Then inside of the settings, inside of the commander settings, I'm going to go to the ribbon, add command. Type home for home page, home for house, rename the command to home, save. And now I have a home button that's also inside of the ribbon. It's a different icon. And when I push the home, it brings up everything in the workspace. So if I was to change the star back there, if I push the home button for the home page plugin, the star is still up there. It maintains the workspace layout. But now if I push the home button here, it will bring me back with the star down the bottom. Now, something I want to emphasize here, if we go into the settings, go back to the commander inside of the ribbon, you see here we've got home workspaces plus load home. And the reason I'm pointing that out is I made a mistake. I just defaulted to home. The home page open home page command is not the one you want. It's the workspaces plus load home that I named home. That's the command that you want. Otherwise, you're just doing the same thing twice, which is obviously not what you wanted. Then using this method, you can also go in, make a workspace and then make as many as you want. So say, let's make a temporary workspace for when you're working like a checkpoint, go to settings, do the exact same thing. So go to ribbon, add temp workspaces plus load temp, then pencil. Yeah, that'll do. Then get rid of all of that. Enter. Then when you come out now, when you push the pencil, you've got the temp and then you push the home, you've got the home so you can have more workspaces and you can have pages, tabs, panes, and all of those things are saved to the dashboard rather than just the home page, which is what this community plugin does.